Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. This video is a follow-up video to a previous video I made about the HT8950 voice modulator chip. Well, you might want to watch that video first, although it's not important. But since then, I pretty much have just taken the circuit and put it inside this kit box. And I made a few small changes. So the schematic diagram um, did not include a potentiometer on the oscillator inside the chip, so I added that. But in the previous video, I created this big thing with three 10K trim pots, sorry, potentiometers. And then I just decided, well, it'd be better for the sake of space just to use a 50K. And it also has a fixed 10K resistor in here as well. I experimented a little bit with op amps, op amp chips, and trying to amplify the microphone input signal. And I just won't try and cover that in this video. Ultimately, I found it kind of unnecessary and I won't say too much more about that. I didn't have any microphones at home, so I created one. I had Electret microphones, so then I drilled out a broomstick and ran the wires from the Electret microphone through the broomstick handle and poked them out the bottom and just used one of these, what is it, three and a half millimeter or three millimeter audio input jack and I just glued it onto the end. So now I have a, a microphone and it works. I suppose I could try and explain this microphone circuit. Uh, basically just powers the microphone with five volts. And what else does it do? And it sends it in on one of the pins on the chip. Uh, in the kit box I added a power jack input and this chip only takes like f two to four volts I'm actually powering it with more than four volts I tend to power it with 4.4 volts I don't know if that's good in the long run to do that anyway I am um, and I've just been powering it with my benchtop power supply in fact using these type of power supplies seemed to add noise into the circuit. I'm not gonna try and show that on camera. So I've got some issues with getting a fixed power supply in here uh, to power this without adding too much noise. The benchtop power supply works no problem. It doesn't really add any noise. And yeah, so here it is. This was made with like wood planks. I bought these at the dollar store and they are two dollars a pack and the reason these are great is that they really are simple to cut. I could basically use an, an exacto knife and a straight edge ruler and these were very simple and quick to cut and that's how I created this kit box. Also I love using these cubes. These cubes, these were also purchased at the dollar store. They're up on my shelf way up here with all my other junk. So these are, these were $1.25. Very, very, very cheap. And I put them in a little cup so I can use, where did I have the pack? Uh, 
Now the dollar store also sells them in colored cubes for the same price, $1.25. So that is how I created my little kit box and I used lots and lots of glue. Lots of glue. Unfortunately, I didn't capture any of that on camera. Um, I made a lid for the kit and uh, this is me being silly. I just added a couple, a couple, a man and a woman, drinking coffee in the morning uh, for no reason, just, just being kind of silly. But I suppose you could say, well, the man represents the deep male tones you can achieve with the HT8950 voice modulator. And the, well, the woman represents the higher tones. Uh, I could say that. Uh, anyway, I painted it with this beautiful gold paint, uh, partly because everything that I create turns into gold. So that's kind of an appropriate color to paint this kit box. So, um, without wasting too much more time, oh yeah, I, I put the circuit on the back, I printed that out, and just glued it. So it's almost laminated. That's just glue. I'll show you how this works. I'm hooking it up to my LM386N op amp. And again, I tried experimenting with different op amps when I was building this circuit. Uh, particularly, uh, well, I won't even get into that. So turn the bench top on. Yeah, I have it set at 4.4 4 volts, which is actually too much power. And then this audio jack here goes to the to the op amp. It goes over into the op amp. The op amp is getting powered by a separate power supply, which is noisy. So the speaker is on. I, I don't have a resistor. I just had a loudness switch louder and quieter okay, using my microphone this button this button is called ROB here, here's, the, here's the schematic here of all the switches uh, the first switch was robot TGD means like tone down tone up and then the last switch was vibrato so robot tone up tone down and vibrato so I just hit this, it puts it on the basic setting. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now you're probably getting some of my voice mixing in with the audio signal. That can't be helped. But then if I hit the tone up, it starts changing the tone up. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And it actually takes the robot voice off. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 That voice tone is almost comparable to my natural voice. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Maybe a little bit deeper, I can't tell. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 Testing. And then it brings it back up to the robot voice. If so these buttons just cycle through the tones, tone up and tone down. But if you want to restore it to the robot voice, then you just hit the robot one. Testing, testing, testing. And then this bottom one is the oscillate, like uh, the vibrato, which is not on when any of this is pressed. So if you want the vibrato on,
kind of unnecessary. Restart there. Now, the switches here, to, re to really understand these switches on this side of the chip, these are like, kind of like factory presets. So I suppose you could almost switch them on and they kind of don't allow further adjustment. And I think they mimic tones within this tone up and tone down range anyway. And these switches are over here. This is one of the best settings I had it at with these two pushed. And it, again, it's like a, it's like a preset tone. Testing, testing. Now when these are, these switches are pushed, these ones cease to function, I believe. Testing, 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 testing. So these switches, when, when these switches are switched, these ones aren't doing anything anymore. I guess, I guess the vibrato, the vibrato still does work, but like this doesn't restore it back to the robot. Doesn't do anything. This, this, this doesn't do anything. I guess the vibrato still works. Testing, testing. So, I guess as a factory, I don't know what you call it. Like as a preset, you might just flip these on if you like that setting. Also, the just the first one switched on sounded okay too. Testing, testing, one, two, three. 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 That's almost my natural sounding voice. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, 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 testing. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe all of those other than you just have to play around with it. Uh, adjusting the oscillator inside the chip is hooked up to this potentiometer. That was my modification. I'll just show a little bit how it how twisting that knob would sound as you're speaking into it. Well, that's about it. Hopefully that wasn't too annoying to watch. I should be more confident than that. No, that wasn't annoying. That was enjoyable to watch. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it's helpful to you if you are building this circuit yourself. If I had to give it a score out of 10, I might give it a 7 out of 10. That's an arbitrary score. I give it a good grade in a way because when I assembled it, it worked. I had very little trouble shooting to get it to work, but the voice quality was not perfect. So I give it a 7 out of 10. Well, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned to my channel as I continue to make more videos. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day. Are you ready to dance? Incoming dance party, good times. Get off your seat and move your feet to the beat. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Check out my song. I think it's really, really neat. Ooh, ooh, ha, 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 hee, hee. And if you're hungry, grab something to eat.